and they knew that they was naked. And they sewed fig leaves together and made themselves aprons. And they heard the voice of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day. And Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God, oh my God among the trees of the garden. And the Lord called unto Adam and said unto him, Where are thou? I thought today, where is my family? All right. Amen. Say that with me. Where? Not only is God asking, where is my family? A lot of parents are asking, where is my family? Amen. We need to know that this society of ours is in trouble. Yes. Amen. Yes. And it is, is in trouble because there is a breakdown in the home. Amen. There can be no schoolhouse. There can be no higher degree of learning. Yes. There can be no society, no nation, or no world except it extends from a family. If the family is bad, society is bad. Yeah. That's right. We look at the schools today and we are blaming the principal. Yeah. We are blaming the teachers. We are blaming the Board of Education. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Then some parents, they get big-headed because one of the teachers spanked one of them. Yeah. They go out there to have it out with the teacher. Yeah. And it is not the teacher's fault that that old bad young one is like he is. It's your fault. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. The breakdown is where you stay. Yeah. We need to know that God made a family. Yes. He didn't make a nation before he made a family. All right. A family consists of a man and a woman, or children with the parents, or relatives. Amen. Yes. Amen. God, in the first family, gave specific responsibility to their family. Yeah. First of all, Adam, a man was alone with the beast of the field. Yeah. He had nobody like him. All right. Come on. And God saw that he needed somebody to compliment him yeah. and to be a companion to him. Yeah. And he made a woman. Yeah. Uh-huh. And I'm going to tell you, some uh, men's uh, 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 theory, amen, that they uh, w- have been superior all their life to women. Right. Uh-huh. Amen. When God first made a man, he gave him dominion over everything in the world. Yeah. That's right. At that particular time, the woman wasn't there. Right. But later on, he took the man rib and made the woman. And nowhere do you find that God told a man you have dominion over the woman. All right, he said, I am making her, you'll help me. She didn't take, he didn't take a backbone, a footbone, he took a rib. And God himself brought Eve to Adam and married him. Amen. 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 All right. Now, the reason today 
that a woman is in second place in the marriage is because the woman, when she sinned, yes. amen, amen, she fell in the test. Amen. Uh -huh. That she could not handle responsibilities and decisions outside of a man. Right. Uh -huh. Amen. Yes. You see, when she started talking with the serpent, yes. A family stays together, yes. prays together, yes. fast together, and commune together. Yes. From the first time that the serpent opened his mouth and said, Did God say something? Yes. She should have said, Wait till I go get out. Right. Come on now. <laughs> but she took it upon herself to engage in conversation. And for that reason, when God, amen, brought the cup upon the woman and upon the world, he had to give a woman, amen, a head. And the head now of every woman is a man. And I want your head before you messed up. But after you messed up, God had to give you a head. Amen. Yes. yes, as long as you live in God's simple plan and obey, you walk side by side with Adam. Uh -huh. You made equal decisions. Uh -huh. Amen. But in the curse, there was a multiplication in 